Holy cow, you guys. We've got a big, big unboxing to do on the channel today. So stay tuned if you wanna see what is inside of this box. We're gonna to get to that here in just a second. Before we do, if you like reviews, unboxings, and fishing videos, you might wanna stay tuned to the channel. So consider subscribing, smash the like button on this video, and ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. And you can join me and my buddy Paul every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, for a live podcast on YouTube and Twitch. So you can come hang out with us there and talk to us in chat. So let's get to this unboxing, shall we? We shall. All right, this is my first time opening this thing, cause that's how we do it on this channel. And I hear they're out of stock everywhere. So I picked this up at DickSportingGoods.com. I didn't go into an actual store, just ordered it. Got here in just a couple days, uh, even over the Thanksgiving holiday. So maybe I'm lucky, I don't know. Plus I got out on a Black Friday deal, so I got 20 bucks off of $100. I bought like some ice fishing stuff too, but this thing is retailing at $60, $59.99. And just like their normal on the shelf boxes, it's this sleeve. Now we gotta open the inner box. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this box contains 12 to 15 baits. So we got quite a few baits in here. And I'm looking just from the top. Interesting things. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start with the body baits as per usual. Okay, cool, I don't have one of these. So first bait off the top, we've got a Guggen squad i always forget what they call these things the guggen baits are the plastics guggen squad is like all the other baits right <laughs> got it all right so we got the guggen squad blooper so this is a topwater popper in black so it's like it's like a medium to larger size popper it's it's not small uh in black so you got this darker silhouette on the surface of the water it's got a big old scooped mouth. This thing is called a blooper probably for a reason. It's gonna be spitting tons and tons of water. So you got your line tie kind of recessed in there, so that's cool. And then we've got this really nice tied feather treble with that like bright green. So I do like the colors, like the green in the mouth there, green on the tail, and then the black body. I think it looks pretty good. You've got like that flashy little Guggen eye on the inside. Wood throw. First bait, not bad. Let's keep rolling. I would do, for whatever reason, we also get a, a Dibble Digest in here. Nifty. I don't know why I threw it in this box, but cool. Oh my gosh. Are you on the wall? Hey. You guys see this color right here? Boom. These guys keep popping up, man. Ever since we, started, we worked with them like the other month, I've been seeing them everywhere. Is it a conspiracy? Maybe. So we got a Vexan Fat Boy Series, P-H-A-T. This is their Deep Thud. So, Deep Thud rattling chamber there. And cool little colorway here. This one's called Penny's Bluegill. I do like this color. I love these like opaque lips that they make on these sometimes too. And this one in particular is an eight foot diving depth. So all around, I've fished these things now. I have a ton of these actually because the company sent me them to check them out again. And while this is like the matte finish paint, by the way, well, the quality isn't like amazing on them. It's pretty darn good. They seem pretty durable. They do catch fish. I have caught fish on them. And all in all, I like it. I mean, it's a solid crankbait. It's got a good shape to it and some pretty good action. Then we got pretty good bait to be thrown around right now. We got a lipless here. So this is the Guggen Squad Clutch. So we got a lot of Guggen baits in this one, which is not bad considering their price point, right? So this is half an ounce in Sexy Shad. Not a bad looking lipless bait. Real tinny rattle to it. Lots and lots of BBs in there. Looks pretty gosh dang good. Got a good shape to it too. So you're gonna get, because of like these 3D edges there, you're gonna get a lot of action off this. So this is a type of lipless that you could rip a lot more. You can yo-yo it. You can do a lot more with this type of lipless. It's gonna have better action. And on the retrieve, it's gonna be vibing a lot faster than some other liplesses that we've we've had the misfortune of fishing before. Uh, but it's not bad. Like I, I, I do really like this lipless bait. I think it's pretty gosh dang solid. All right, so I actually found a card in here too. It says, Motherload, find out if you've won 
Go to mtbmovieload.com and enter this promo code, which is why I can't show you it. What? There's a chance that you win Guggen rods. You can win a bass stinger boat. I'm going to go check this right now. <sighs> okay, so I didn't win. I just checked my promo code, but whatever. Regardless, uh, you have a chance to win a bass fishing boat, Guggen squad rods, tons of other prizes, blah, blah, blah. And it expires December 31st, 2021. So it's valid for the whole next year. So I guess anytime you buy a mother load box, you could enter to win. Um, I did not, but maybe you will. Boo, this box stinks. I'm just kidding, that's pretty good. So here's the bait list for those of you that want to see that. There are no values attached to it. Questionable, not sure why, but it's fine. We'll be okay, we'll survive. Oh my gosh, there's baits I didn't even see in here. They're hiding like tucked away in the corner. <laughs> All right, so we've got a silent medium diving crankbait from Janko. Check this baby out. I like their crankbaits. Janko makes some pretty slick crankbaits. So this one is in root beer shad. Check this out. Root beer shad. So we got like the browns, some nice sparklies up top. Do you like their paint jobs on these? I think they look pretty good. I love their mean eyes that they apply to them. So it is medium diving. It's getting down seven to nine feet. Should have some pretty good action. It is silent, no sound. Actual true silence. Uh, some nice sharp trebles, pretty solid. And I like the color, man. This is definitely something I'll be throwing. I like it, I can dig that. All right, so a couple crankbaits. We got a big loud one. Small silent one. We got a lipless so far. We got a popper. Kind of like all over the water column right now, right? Jeez Louise. Got a, got a little baby sticker. <laughs> Neat. I feel like they could have put a bigger sticker in this box. Just, just saying. Uh, oh, poopy. Okay, this bait is sweet. The poopy thing I'll tell you in a second. So this is Mike Buka's Bull Shad. And this color is sweet. Don't get me wrong. This is a thread fin shad. So we got like purple to it. You got your gill dot there. You've got, there it is. Hooked myself this episode, good job. You got like these main three segments there. So this is just a 3.75 inch sinking swim bait. So it's got the weights. You can actually see the weights right in the bottom there. Uh, it does have no sound. It is silent, but this jointed action. I've actually had a chance to fish this exact one because I have this exact one, unfortunately. I should have picked a different color, but uh, these things swim amazingly well, and they've got this super cool tail. Check that out. That is slick. So I do, I really like these things. I love it. I wish it was a different color, but hey, it is what it is. Maybe I'll throw this in a giveaway. I think I'm gonna keep it in the box for now. Keep it pretty for somebody. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe I'll lose my other one and now I got a spare. Not bad. These are great baits and they're not cheap. So I'm starting to see starting to see the value kind of add up here. There's a, there's a lot in here. Uh, next up, got like a classic Carl's bait and tackle and chartreuse and white spinner bait here. Double willow blade, one's gold, one is silver. Which is a good one to throw around. Uh, this one is three eighths of an ounce. Not a bad weight to be throwing either. And I like the size of it. All around, it's a good spinner bait. It'll get the job done for dang sure. It's got a mustad hook on it, pretty sharp. But uh, I mean, not super exciting, but a pretty good bait. Something that'll catch some heckin' fish, am I right? Holy cow, all right, all right. Finally getting to the bottom of this thing. Look at, look at that. So I got five things left here. So we've unboxed these before on the channel. This is the Dobbins with the Gamakatsu hook football jig and this thing is in two-toned brown and purple sounds like a cool color let's look at this thing oh yeah oh yeah check this out so we got purple on the back got brown up top got a nice plush brush guard i think it does a great job you got a gamakatsu hook which is protected right now we're gonna pop that little thing off it's a very sharp hook on there and then you've got your football head to the jig. I love that the paint on the jig head matches up to the skirt on there. Pretty phenomenal. Then we got the brown there. And I like the recessed line tie too. So it's gonna protect your line a little bit more. Awesome little molded bait keeper. Look at that, your bait's not going freaking anywhere. Double-sided barbs, boom, boom. 
These are awesome jigs. I like these a lot. So I'm pretty pumped that we got that. I did just give one away in one of our monthly giveaways. So hey, she back. All right, so next up, we got a Catchco brand. This is a hard hat jigs, lumberjack flipping jig. It's got a heckin' long name. All right, what do we got here? Oh yeah, no, these are sweet. PB and J color, let me fix your skirt. So you got PB and J colored skirt, browns and purples in there. Pretty great colorway, especially for like rivers around me, I like throwing this. It's a flipping jig. So it's got like this wider surface right there. Line tie exposed, but it's gonna sit kind of like that, 45 degree angle on the bottom. And that shape's gonna be better all around for like casting, skipping, flipping under tight cover, like all sorts of good, juicy situations. Not as great of a molded bait keeper section as that Dobbins, but I mean, pff, who can beat that? All around though, great jig. Something I'll definitely have fun throwing. Can never have too many jigs, am I right? Okay, then we have a less exciting Eagle Claw Laser Sharp EWG pack. We got three four rot. EWGs, they're hooks, people. All right, and finally, two bags of plastics. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about this. Let me let me know in the comments. What do you think about the Eliminator? You guys used it? Have you thrown it? This is in just like green pumpkin, which is fine. It's like the universal color, am I right? Gets the job done. I've not really used this. I think I, I used, I have a pack of these from an old MTB box. I've used it like once or twice. It looks like a gosh dang salamander. So it's giant. Look at that thing. You've got like some eyes on there too. You can reverse it. You've got this big crazy tail. Look at that thing. It's just huge. All around like very bulky body. Big tail. It's going to have a lot of action. Guaranteed. This is something I would maybe throw in the summer. Definitely not throwing something this big right now. And I think I got to get more creative with it to be honest. It can rig to anything. Um, I've seen videos on it. I've, I've definitely seen that it can do some dang work. I just haven't really figured it out. So it's all right. I'm not, I'm not pumped it's in the box, but it's an all right plastic. We're gonna figure it out. That's the game, right? You gotta figure it out. So I'm gonna do that. And then we got their saw craws. So these are decent craws from 10,000 fish. It's another Catchco brand. I mean, that's how they can make this box as valuable as, as it can be, right? Put their brand in there a lot. So these are pretty nice cross. This is black and blue. It's got that really nice edge to the claw. So that claw is gonna flap a ton in the water, which is great. You got some really good action on this. Some extra appendages up the sides. You even got, like, you gotta break it apart. So it's, you know, it's gonna have good working action right out the gate. And then you've got the segmented body, which is nice. So you can bite these off, cut these off, essentially make the plastic shorter to fit whatever rigging you want to use for it, which makes it a lot more versatile. Agile, mobile. Oh my gosh, I forgot a bait. You guys, there's an extra bait in here. What the heck? So I'm talking about, there's so many dang things in here. So we've got heavy metal tungsten. I think this is a Catchco brand as well. Yes, it is. Uh, but it's their tungsten brand, right? So we've got some tungsten worm weights, quarter ounce, so like, straight classic. This is a green pumpkin three pack. Good looking. What's cooking good looking? Oh yeah. Good looking tungsten worm weights. I mean, they'll get the job done. Am I right? And tungsten, as you guys know, ain't cheap. So that's a pretty good deal. Whew. Okay. There was a lot of baits in that box. So again, this thing retails for $59.99. I got kind of lucky because Dick's Sporting Goods was running like they're $20 off of 100 So I got kind of a deal. It's not a deal you're normally going to get on this if ever. I don't know if it goes on sale. Quick recap though. We got two plastics, the Sawcross 10,000 fish. Got the Eliminator. Got a little small pack of three EWG hooks. Carl's Amazing Bait Spinner Bait. Two jigs. The Dobbins Football. And then the Lumberjack Jigs flipping Jig. Got that Buka Bull Shad. That's probably one of the most fantastic baits in the box. Vexan Fat Boy, the Deep Thud Series Crankbait, diving to eight feet. The Jinko Silent Crankbait, diving down seven to nine with no rattle. The Guggen Squad Blooper, popping. We have the Heavy Metal Tungsten Worm Weights, that Green Pumpkin three pack quarter ounce. And, and, 
We had the Guggen Squad clutch in that sexy shed. Look at that. So there's 12 baits in this box. Again, it goes 12 to 15. I'm assuming if you get like a book of bull shatter and a bunch of Guggen Squad stuff in your box, then you're probably not gonna get 15 baits. So we're on the low end, meaning we got higher value individual baits. And uh, honestly, I'm okay with that. That's something I would like to see. So, um, man, verdict on this box. I'm pretty impressed. It's, it's a lot of baits. But the coolest part about this is that it covers just so much water. We've got two jigs, we've got tungsten weights, so we're fishing the bottom. We've got the plastics to rig for that. We've got EWGs, so we can Texas rig both of these straight out of the box. We got crankbaits, we got spinnerbait, we got uh, a swim bait, we've got a lipless and a topwater popper. You were literally top to bottom, you covered everything. Sometimes two baits for each part of the water column. So, man, if you're looking to grab a box that is just gonna cover literally everything, or it's the holidays, man. If you want uh, your, your estranged aunt to buy you a fishing thing and you don't want it to be some like bazooka rod that shoots your bait ball out there or something terrible like that, then maybe you just say like, hey, auntie, look at this thing, right? Uh, that could be good. Are there better boxes out there? I don't know. There's not. There's nothing like this. This is actually the first box that I've seen at this price point. I know there's a few other ones, but they do a lot of gear. So it's like if you're getting a box with a ton of gear, of course it's pricier. This is the first box in like this price range. It's like a mega box, the mother load, right? That I've seen and I wanna see more, right? Normally you can get like the MTB Elite is a $39.99. You get eight baits in that. Uh, Monster Bass Regional Box is $36.99. You get eight baits in that. Uh, six Cents Premium Super Six Sack, $36.99. You get, I don't even remember how many baits, six to eight baits in that each month, right? So there's a few other boxes that are uh, around this range, but there's nothing like this high up. So they, 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 Took a jump on this thing. Overall awesome. All right, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit me up below. Did this box bang or bust? Was it good or bad? Somewhere in between. Would you buy, yes or no? And what was maybe your favorite or least favorite baits in the box? I wanna hear from you guys. So hit me up in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate having you guys on the channel. And hey, if you like videos like this, reviews, unboxings, fishing videos, maybe stay tuned to the channel, become a subscriber, smash the like on this video and ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. That's all we got for today, guys. So stay tuned for our next review on the channel and I will see you guys out on the water.